Welcome to Game Devs Play Games, where we play games and talk game design, and we are playing more Bastion. Bastione, we Bastion. are going to the melting pot. <laughs> and while you guys were away, we upgraded our knife for 20% crit, so... Because it's, well, the machete, first of all. The machete. The machete. Uh, but the machete makes that much more sense to do the crit chance, because not only was it 20% crit chance, compared to, like, doing cripple, which slows your opponents that only really matters if you throw the machete which he's never gonna do yeah i'm not really one to throw things <laughs> i like getting in the mix of the fight um but what's more is the machete deals less damage but it attacks faster yeah, look at that look at that this is ridiculous. Look at that. Look at it. so so really increased crit chance makes that much more sense because you're attacking more frequently the calamity it had to be stabbed <laughs> head. Oh my god, that's right. These As you are... walk, like, face first. <laughs> head to be stagweed. Yeah, that's a stagweed, right? I'm just gonna touch it. No wonder why the kid don't like stagweeds. Although, I guess it's the, uh... What, what's the Jesus. old man called? The narrator or whatever? The stranger. The stranger, that's what he the is. The stranger. Yeah, I guess it's the stranger that doesn't like stagweeds. Kid well, the... doesn't bother the kid. <laughs> Apparently, it's like catnip to him. The, the kid knows now, alright? The kid knows now. <laughs> <laughs> well, Dad did nothing. <laughs> I don't throw this the is why this is why Gigarius does not throw the machete. Yeah, because I it have no aim. I don't like it anyway, honestly. Because so, as we were kind of talking about this in the last episode, the game heavily in encourages players to wield one melee weapon and one ranged weapon. So why you would ever want to throw your machete or jump off a cliff? That's right. This is the one where just, you can't go up at all. Yep. I just want to double check. The path appears if you're, if it's, you don't have to be just above it for the path hey, to man. appear. Experimentation requires danger. I mean, I will give you that you are, inside. I will honor you as a true explorer at the very I least. I will explore it all. <laughs> oh, that's right, the mines. These things are so cool. I don't like the mines. That, that, okay, I was like, where'd the mine go? <laughs> like, I know it's somewhere. I mean, they're okay. They're they're nice because they're powerful. Dude, dude the mines are cool. Shut up. <laughs> and that's my talk for game design today, folks. To be fair, I, I guess, especially my recent playthrough, I wasn't entirely happy with a lot of the abilities. Not that they were bad. It was just like... Not necessarily I, good. I, I almost felt like they distracted me from doing a good job using my actual weapons. Mmm, I see what you're saying. Um, and the things like the mine, they won't really do that, but they're also no, not lot, super useful wrong. either. Yeah, that's fair. They're good for dealing a lot of damage to one guy, but you also don't control As it turns who out. goes into it. Yep. Yeah. I kind of wish at this point that I had the little uh, the magnet so I could just suck all these up instead of having to like dance around like I am. Yeah, but they don't disappear, at least. That would really stink. I would be super bummed out if they all disappeared. Yeah. How? Come towards my mine. Mm. This is why, this is why. See, look at that mine. I mean, that did work pretty well. This is the right circumstance for it. Although I think you just killed one of the guys that was on the I team. don't understand why they would die too. They shouldn't die. They're... I could be wrong. I don't know. It's dude is possible. possible. So, do you think that... Uh, maybe this, this question goes beyond the scope of Bastion. But how do you feel about games where you have, like, collect them things in the environment. You know, it depends cuz like sometimes like you like you're worried that if you don't collect them what are you missing out on? Right, like if it's a Mario thing then it you don't need any of it. It's just right, it's just it it's makes just, it feel extra, good. Right. Um, whereas Bastion you need Mario it. never makes me feel good. <laughs> oh. That's cuz I stink at it. Uh we you know, we were you in that when we played um Probably. Super Mario 3D World on the show? Oh no, I was not. This was during, this was I think while we were doing our Bit Bash games playthrough. Okay. And we oh, had. No, I was totally in that and I was being a big jerk. Yeah, we. this is when we had Felix13, I think yeah, was his, I think that's, Twitch yeah, name. I think that's his Twitch name. And uh, we had someone else, I don't remember. It was Cujo. Was it Cujo? Oh yeah. And, but uh, yeah, we had those guys over here, and we we recorded a, a really long playthrough, a single episode playthrough of a uh, Super Mario 3D World, yep. and it was hilarious. It was awful because we all sucked at it, and we lost all that footage too. Yep, yep. You know, there's something about good things and us losing the footage for it. Fashion is basically our ode to people that lose footage. Yep. So you're welcome, Warlord, to the people who have lost games <laughs> from corrupted memory cards. <sighs> 
because oh man, how many times did I have to restart Final Fantasy IX because of a corrupted memory card? It was more than three times, let's put it that way. That's harsh, man. Oh yeah. I still have PS1 memory cards that uh Oh good for you, man. I'm glad this still work. Have my, my Breath of Fire 4 playthrough of like all my characters at level 75 on. Well, it. I would like, never wish a corrupted memory card on anybody. It's just the saddest thing there can be in the world. It really is. I I totally agree. Come to my sword. Come to my bomb. You you don't know what weapons you're using, do you? <laughs> Come to my machete. Come machete. to my bomb. Hey, you should pick up those spices up there. Which spices? VT dubs. The oh, ancient spices. Yeah, I need Ten. that. I need that. Nine. I would have seen it. <laughs> Seven. Not that. Man, there's a lot I forgot. This level is like a super hardcore fight thing. Five. Yeah, it's well it's very arena style. Which I, I kind of enjoy. I need to guess on how there we go. I think what last time we played through, through this level, I asked you how you felt about, like, I guess, like, the chaotic m mash of monsters. It's, I think it's fun. For this game, it's a blast. You know, when, when I first asked, asked you that question, too, it had been so long since I had played Bastion that I couldn't remember if the rest of the game played this way. Um, because, obviously, this is the level design in this was specific to the wave... Um, the wave format right. of like monsters wave after wave and um, I, I guess for some reason I thought that the rest of Bastion just like had hordes of monsters and in, in a way it still does um, but it's not such a chaotic mess all well, the time last time there was one that got stuck over yep that one <laughs> that one got stuck last He's time gonna, and I was doing my damnedest to, to like beat it I was like I'm gonna find a way to beat this thing and like I couldn't, and this is what happened last time. There's something over here, I think. I think Maybe you, I think you if you were good at throwing your machete. My machete. No, because I tried that. I tried throwing my machete. I'll, I'll do it right now. You'll see. Because <laughs> it wouldn't get through. It's because the door's blocking. you got to wait for it, the little critter to like go off to the side and not be against the door. See? All right, shut up. I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna take this away now. <laughs> I don't like that noise. I don't wanna hop on my ship that goes <laughs> <laughs> This is why we Silly fall back out. to Bastion. I still remember the look on his face after that one. <laughs> I love that. You know what's interesting? It's like clearly this is told from the future. Uh yes. To an extent. I think there's a certain point in where it, it catches up. Folks voyage cross I'm sure, you know, I, I feel like in a lot of games you get to that point. Mm -hmm. It was good living here for a while. I so this is why I love those mementos, is because those are how we get the history of the world yes. pre calamity. But the new world's just getting started. And like the fact that they all have the uh, the narration over it, like the voice over, um, that in itself is sort of a reward. Time to sample spirits from my personal That's right. supply. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, dead drum. I'm all um, about that wear whiskey, man. Wear whiskey. Oh, my God. But only when your health is below 33%. Yeah, it's going to get down. Wear whiskey has no scent, but tastes like a peppered boot heel. It's not for everyone. I was kind of hoping to say a peppered booty. <laughs> tastes like that peppered booty. Something nasty. Oh, you that nasty. is nasty. Oh, boy. 55%. Oh. So, okay. This this is another one where st statistically it would make sense to go with faster reload speed because the clip has eight shots. Yes. 55% faster reload means that you are shooting 5% more. Yeah. But, but that's doubling I can load. specifically say for the, um, the, the um, proving ground, the eight ammo capacity is better. Now, ultimately, it still boils, boils down to your play style. But this, right. this is better balanced, I would say. Yeah, I'm going to go to the percent though. Still have some spark so, okay, here's a question to you then, design-wise. Yeah. Do you think that all of those choices should be statistically balanced? Or do you think it's okay to not have them balanced in favor of certain builds? Yeah, I think it's okay in favor of certain builds. Because yeah. I, think the, I think the developers knew that people are going to play the game a certain way. So they wanted to give what they considered equal balance. Um, but again, I haven't seen the other 
upgrades where you have seen the other upgrades. And, and that's why, like, I know we talked about this in the last episode, but that's why I feel like it's a the design is a little contradictory, right? I agree. Okay. I think that it's okay so long as the player's able to kind of build this weapon for a certain spec. Yeah. Um, or a certain, like, you know, build, right? Yeah. Um, but since we can't see the future, uh, un- like, upgrades, I feel like most... Most statistically inclined players are going to always choose what's statistically better. Better. You know, that's fair, but I feel like even though something's statistically better does not mean that it's going to make for a better build. That's true. I I suppose there is, after you start upgrading some of these weapons, too, you do get a sense of, like, okay, it's probably going to have this kind of upgrade available and this, so you can start anticipating it, but... It, At that point, like, why does it even matter to hide? Right, absolutely. Uh, but that's all we have for this episode. So, question of the day is, I want to ask you guys what you think about the um, non-statistically balanced upgrades. Do you think it's okay? Um, or do you think it's not? And what would you do to kind of recalibrate it to make it okay? Would you, you know, show the other upgrades possible so that you, the players could spec out certain builds? Or would you just balance those numbers so that they were just totally equal? What, what do you think would be better for the player's perspective or, like, how to make the game fun, right? Yeah, like, absolutely, absolutely. So just, guys, like, comment, subscribe, and please vote for what you want to see next. We are more than willing to play more Bastion, believe me. But there's so many other great games out there. What if we want to play Transistor next? I know. Ah! We'll we'll have some options for you guys to vote on to watch Chris and I play next. (laughs) So we will see you guys in the next episode. Bye, everyone.